For the last couple of days, if you've been watching Money Rush, as I know you have been, we've been talking to participants and organizers of the AV Expo, which is actually starting today and tomorrow, being held at the Irari Showgrounds, Nelson Mandela Hall. Entrance is free. Please let me emphasize that. Entrance is free. Now, why are we harping on about this? Well, first of all, it's pretty much in our industry. It's all about lighting and microphone, all that kind of stuff. So it's also very exciting for us. And as well, mm. it's also being organized by Mbaki, one of the head of sound right here at ZTM Prime. I'm now joined by two participants, if I can say that, and also also moderators and trainees in, in, in some of the workshops. I've got Pastor Simbarashe Bapiro, he's director of Epic Sets, and Rizan Mutsalhuni, CEO of Soundstage Africa. Simba, Rizan, welcome to Morning Thank Rush. you. Thank you for having us. Right, let's talk about this. Okay, now, again, uh, there's a workshop going on, right, uh, Simba? Um, rigging and lighting technology. Okay, now, of course, I sit in front of the light, so I have no clue what happens behind there. Let somebody else do that. But you're, you're doing a facilitating a workshop on that. I mean, this is important, this, isn't it? I mean, looking at it from our industry and our sector. Mm -hmm. It's very important, especially the rigging side of things, because there are safety things or safety factors that need to be taken. What is rigging? I think a lot of people say rigging, because we always hear it, but no one right? knows what's rigging. Yeah. It's definitely not anything political. <laughs> <laughs> rigging just basically <laughs> refers to um, all the components mm. that are involved in supporting mm. or suspending a load. So, like you said, you are right in front of the lights. Those lights are hanging. They're yeah. suspended. <laughs> So you need to make sure that they are suspended correctly, they are safe where they are suspended, yeah. so that they don't fall on anyone, yeah. damaging the equipment itself, and probably injuring someone. So, so it's really sort of showing them practically how to do these, how to set this all up. Exactly. But I mean, what I like about this AV Expo is that it really, I think, and maybe you could come in, exposes our... Our budding broadcasters, our budding journalists, our budding riggers, if I can call them that, mm -hmm. to new technology, to the things that are happening out there now. I mean, it's just excellent. Yes, definitely. It's good because, for, ex for instance, there's a lot of technology that's coming out in the lighting uh, mm. uh, technologies. Mm. So it's really very important for people to be exposed to those technologies mm. because they only introduce the efficacy side to the industry. Yeah. So as opposed to um, the poor technology that was there and what's there now, mm. when you make use of it, it will actually enhance your production. Yeah. And when it enhances your production, it also ultimately um, feeds into the bottom line. Your profit also... Yeah, so it's, 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 it's right. obviously, yeah, you yeah. obviously makes you more profitable and a, and a more sustainable business. Uh, right. Risen, um, you know, what's interesting, of course, is the way that things have changed dramatically. I mean, for example, everyone talks about this IP over IP, VO, VOIP, Voice Over Internet Protocol, the I mean, nowadays you don't need this beautiful studio in to actually do anything. You can be doing it at home with a green screen. So talk to us about that and, and, and how, how is that impacting the AV world, if I can call it that, here in Zimbabwe and all globally? Okay. Um, thanks. Thanks for that question. I'll start by um, just bringing in the scenario that we had over the COVID period. Um, I think we'll see that people were not able to go to work um, and some businesses had to fold because uh, people could not communicate, people couldn't operate, and we were forced to work from home. Mm -hmm. So for the first time, mm -hmm. people, my parents are over 80, they had to use Zoom, they yeah. had never used it before. So what we're now doing is we are realizing that um, broadcasting, which is the transmission of data, has to happen over IP, over the internet. That's basically what it is. And we are now moving the technology to use that platform mm. to be able to operate and uh, again, increase prof profitability. Yeah, that. yeah. That's Look, I mean, tell us about, you know, unfortunately, uh, again, we've three days we've been talking about this. Guys, today, tomorrow, um, Nelson Mandela Hall, showgrounds, get there. If you're a budding, whatever you may be, a lighter, rigger, journalist, whatever, go to this AB Expo. I think it'll be well worth your time. Now, let's quickly talk about, you. obviously, I'm assuming both of you are exhibiting uh, yes. at the thing. So what, what exactly are you, are you bringing to the party, so to speak? Okay, so we are bringing um, uh, existing technology worldwide. Um, our company uh, represents uh, Lavo, which is one of the largest or one of the strongest brands in IP infrastructure. So uh, what we are saying is our equipment is able to operate on that platform and improve the workflow. Mm. So we are mm. going to be showing some of the technology that we use, some of the partners that we're working with, and people are able to come in and see what we can do, mm. what you can do 
now and in the future mm -hmm. because it is, it is future-proof technology, really. That's what it is. No, I think it's brilliant. And, and, of course, those of you who are interested in all of this, please go, even if you're not in the industry. I think it may be eye-opening for you. And from your side, Simba, well, I mean, you're also exhibiting. I'm assuming your company, what, what are you bringing? I mean, you have LEDs. What are you? What are you? So we're exhibiting and I'm also facilitating a workshop. It's actually going to be at 10 a.m. today. Oh, right. Um, on rigging and lighting technology. Okay. Um, so in terms of our exhibition, we are basically introducing people into how proper sets should be done whenever you're doing um, uh, mm. anything on studio, in mm. studio, mm. live, whatever mm. the case may be, mm. you need to make sure the mm. set is looking decent. That's I think, you know, I think we can't overemphasize the importance of that. I mean, you see me here every morning doing morning rush, but actually behind us is a huge crew of people doing things that right. I, I personally have no idea how to do it. So mm. it's a critical part of broadcasting, and I think it's really important that people get exposed to it. Definitely. So today, tomorrow, as I said, just to repeat, Nelson Mandela Hall at the showgrounds entrance is free. There's workshops, you saw there from Simba, he's doing a workshop today at 10, all the exhibitions are there. So just a final word to everybody out there, because of course you can still come, it's starting today at 8 o'clock, or what time is that, 8 o'clock, but why don't you talk to, talk to our audience and maybe talk about today? Thank you. So today um, I'm also facilitating a workshop on broadcast and IP, so IP in Africa. One of the topics that we're discussing are IP in Africa and, um, uh, sorry, uh, IP versus digital and broadcasting in Africa. No, so, so, so what we're doing is we're talking about how we're broadcasting in Africa. And then we're saying, this is, how, this is where we are. This is where we're going. Are we ready for this? What do we need to do to adjust or, or to up ourselves so that we're able to compete on a global stage? Oof, so I'd, like to, come. I, I'd like to come to that one. Unfortunately, I'm working, but I'll be there. <laughs> and your yeah, final word for, for our audience? Well, make time to come through, uh, especially to the workshops. Um, it's going to be an experience where mm. we are basically trying to put Zimbabwe on the international map. So whatever productions you see out there, mm. we are saying those productions should mm. be at par with what happens in Zimbabwe. And so to be honest, yeah, I mean, already I think we're world class in some of our productions, and I think we can just get even better and right. maybe take on the world by storm. Well, that's it. AV Expo today and tomorrow. Again, just to repeat, Nelson Mandela Hall, Harari Showgrounds, be there. What do they I, I don't even know how to say that. If I say it, I'll be, I'll be old. Do they say be there or be square? <laughs> I sound terrible. Right. <laughs> yes, you know what I'm saying? I feel like I'm really old now. <laughs> right, Pastor Simbarashe Bapiro, Director of Epic Sets and Risen Mutsahuni, CEO of Soundstage Africa. Gentlemen, thank you. Have a great expo and thank you so much for coming on to Morning Thank Rush. you for having appreciate us. Appreciate your time. Pleasure. Konapo Konapo. Ipapwe Papo Pazetien Prime. DSTV Channel 294. The place to be.